Hello all, in this particular tutorial, we will learn how to connect to an Oracle database. Now you will ask me, it's very easy to connect to an Oracle database. Why am I recording such a simple tutorial? Trust me guys, I get lot of questions on my channel. I'm not able to connect to my Oracle database. Now I'm not saying that whatever problem that you are facing, the solution to your problem will be there in this particular tutorial. But what we will see here is a methodical systematic approach on how to troubleshoot your connection problems. Before trying to connect to your Oracle database, try to answer these simple questions. Is your database up? Is listener up? Is the database registered with listener? Is database server reachable? Is the port open? Ans answer to this question, if, if any answer to this is no, is no is the answer to any of these questions, then you will not be able to connect to your database. All of these questions answer should be yes. Remember this. Now that we have seen the basic questions, let's go ahead and try to So think of this. This is my local machine. And from my local machine, I'm trying to connect to an Oracle database, which is hosted on a remote server. So let's try. Let's try to do something. So before connecting to your database, you need to know the IP address, the name of database that you are trying to connect. Here you can give anything. So it's your choice, literally your choice. The username, let's try to connect using the sys user. We should never use a sys user, but this is for the demo. So I'm going to save the password and the IP address. So we will use ifconfig grep inet to identify the IP address of our database. And the SID is prod and I'll tell you from where. So let's see ps minus ef grep pmon and here is the sid which is prod and let's see if that particular database is up so we are going to do some basic checks and you can see our database prod is in the read write mode so the, we are going to try to connect to the database hosted on 192.168.1.101 to the, the, the SID called prod or the database name called prod. So let's do that. So let, I'm going to put it here and I'm going to do the test. And let's see what error we get if we are able to connect. So the network adapter. So looks like we have already seen that our database is up, but the issue is with the network. So the the network that 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 must be some issue with the network. So the first thing that we'll try to do is like we will see if we are able to reach to our database server. So we'll use the simple ping command, and and we are getting the response. So looks like the connectivity to our database server is good because we are getting. So even though we are able we are able to connect to our database server still we are not able to connect to our database so that means that issue might be with this port so the next connection that we'll try is the test we, if we can use if you want have the if you have the telnet you can use the telnet but if you don't have the telnet then you can use the testnet connection the powershell testnet connection so here the second piece is the ip address and the port that we are trying to reach and let's see what this particular command gives us so the, it looks like the TCP connect to uh, this is failed. So it clearly says that we are and you can see a TCP text succeeded answer is false. So that means that issue is with the port. So let's go back to the server. And what we will try to do is we will use the netstat command. So netstat minus an grab listen. Tell me the ports which are listening grab for 1521. And you can see I'm not getting any output, which potentially means that 1521 is not up. Let's try to see if there are any ports with 1521 which are up. And uh, netstat, okay, so let's see a netstat minus an. Yeah, there are some ports, but nothing with, nothing with, um, yeah, so there are ports with one, but there is nothing with 1521 or 15. Okay, so we do not have any port which is. So that means our listener, that means our listener is not up. So let's try to start our listener using LSNR CTL start. And we have started our listener. And now what we will do is we will see if port and you can see 1521 is now listening. So the command which was not giving any output, we are getting the output, which potentially means that we should be able to do the testnet connection. So I'm going to run the testnet connection now and see if the TCP test is and you can see the TCP test is succeeded is true which means that if everything 
looks good then we should be able to connect to our database so now let's go and let's try to do the here we got the error the network could not establish the connection remember this error the network could not establish the connection now i fixed the port error and you can see we are able to reach to the port we are also able to reach to the server so port and the database is already up we have already seen the database is already up so now we should be able to connect to our database so let's but still it looks like it says listener diffuse the connection so now even though even though we are able to reach to the database server even though the port is up even though the database is up still we are not able to so that means that there is an issue with the listener and you know that i have started the listener after starting the listener only this particular port has become active however however there is there seems to be some still problem so now what we'll do we, we need to make sure and this is the third point is your database registered with the listener and looks like our database is not registered so we have we have already seen database is up listener is up but database registered with listener so let's try to see and we can use lsnr ctl status command and let's see what it gives us and here you can see the output that we are getting is listener supports no services which means that our database is not registered with the listener and that is the problem so even though the listener is up the port is up the data this we are able to we are still not able to connect to the database because listener does not know of your database so we need to fix this particular problem that there are two ways of fixing this there is something called dynamic registration there is something called static registration i will not cover that because that is not the part of this particular tutorial i'll cover that in maybe in some other tutorial but for now what we will do is like we will register our database with the listener and i'll use the static registration so what we have to do is this is the listener file so this is the listener file so i'm going to vi that particular file and i'm going to create a static registration entry so for that what i'm saying here is this is the name of the listener here sid list of the listener the oracle home and the name of database that i want to register with the listener so i'm going to save that and i'm going to show you even we have just saved that particular file we have not done any changes so the 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 listener is still up and the listener is still saying support no services now there are two ways i can fix this one is i can stop and start the listener when it will re reread this particular file or what i can potentially do is i can just say reload the listener so instead of stopping and starting i can just say reload so i've done that now i will see listener status and this time i should be able to see that the database prod is now registered with our listener so now i think so we should be able to connect so let's do the test and the success and if i connect to the database and if i run the same query prod read write then we should be able to get the same output that we are connected to the prod database and we are connected to the read write so the way i resolve this particular problem is is your database up is your listener up is your database registered with the listener is your database server reachable is your port open and if if answer to this if answer to any of this question is no you will not be able to connect to your database i hope after watching this particular prop tutorial you are able to resolve the problems that you are facing in your environment with the database connectivity and if you are not then try to dig a little bit on more on why what is blocking your connection thank you for watching see you in next tutorial and if you do like the content that i'm uploading if you do like the videos that i'm uploading to my channel do subscribe to my channel and till then see you thank you bye bye